This is Layla's fourth time being in the pen with sheep. Her first time was for an instinct test. She did five minutes the day before this and five minutes about an hour before this run. However, this is my first time being in the pen with her and using the rake to guide her. So what you saw there was me giving her a verbal cue of uh-uh so that she would stay in place and practice a bit of impulse control where release is her break word. So you saw whenever I said release, she got real chaotic and was ready to get after the sheep. It did take her some time to get in sync with the sheep and also myself get in sync with what I was doing because this was my first time. We have been working on impulse control for about a year now. We started off with a simple leave it with her kibble and then releasing her to grab it. And then eventually moved on to door thresholds and holding a position while we threw objects around and she would have to wait for the release cue to go and get them. So I'm really pleased to see that that work over the past year has been able to transition into various other uncontrolled environments so even though she really wanted to go after these sheep she knew she had to wait good job there you go come on my work the swishing sound we are making is supposed to get dogs more excited whenever they are chasing sheep and get them back into it However, I noticed that that wasn't really doing a lot with her and she was losing a little bit of momentum. So I used our work cue, which is something I often say during our play to get her more amped up, more excited, tug harder, chase harder, whatever the case may be. And I actually think it translated over into this scenario, which I'm very happy about. Since the swishing sound is actually very common in herding, I'm going to start using that and incorporating it in our play to get her a little bit more amped up. Towards your gate, you call her to you. Stop her, stop her, stop her. This is a 10 by 10 pin, and I'm just using the rake to kind of guide her to go in different directions. So I'm making sure to use the non pointy end to put in front of her. So if she were to run into it, she wouldn't get scratched. And I try to put it about three to four feet in front of her so that it's not right in front of her, it doesn't scare her. But it's just to put pressure on her to know that we want her to change directions and so that she can learn uh, what pressure means in this kind of situation. Here, I'm trying to use the rake to pin her into a corner to stop chasing the sheep. Eventually, you'll see me put the leash on her and step on it. And I do tell her enough, which is our end work, end play cue. And I step on the leash exactly like how I've been doing at our house after our play sessions. I think she worked a little longer that time and stayed so hooked more. Good job. So we'll do that. Um, next time you come out, what we'll do is let her flow around here a little bit and then try to start putting a little bit of pressure on her and see if we can start getting her to give a little bit.